this tutorial, I'll be showing you how I created the signature. Now, a lot of people requested this in, um, not my last tutorial, but in the tutorial where I showed you how to get this pixelated border, a lot of people wanted to know how to create the signature, so I'm going to show you. Now, this was originally a, um, tutorial from GimpTalk.com, at least I think that's the link. Um, but my version of the tutorial is, well, it's a video, and it, um, I cut out a few of the steps, and I made it a little easier to understand. Well, not really to understand, but I just made it, um, a little more simple than the original tutorial. But I think you should go check it out for a more detailed version. So just open up a new image. My image is 480 by 180, and you're going to want to paint the background black. Now I'll create a new layer, <clears throat> and I'm just going to rename this cubes. Now get your gradient tool or blend tool, and just get the gradient brushed aluminum. And I'm just going to stroke down. And if I go a little fast, because I want to make this tutorial pretty short, then just, um, you can leave a comment asking me, anything if I if anything was a little unclear because I'm gonna be going pretty fast to make this tutorial not that long now go to filters artistic cubism and just leave the <clears throat> just leave the default settings which is for a tile size 10 and tile saturation 2.5 now go to colors color oops colors colorize and these are just my settings. I would recommend choosing a color that matches your render. Um, I will be using... These are my settings. For hue, I put 212, saturation is 33, and lightness is 0. And now for layer mode, this uh, you're going to want to set the layer mode onto hard light. And you can find that on your layers dialog where it says mode. Now create a new layer. I actually really don't like that color of blue, but I'll leave it for now. Get your rectangular select tool, and just at the bottom of your signature right here, just choose about that much of it, and get your bucket fill tool, and select any color. I'm just, this is the HTML notation of the color I'm using is 2E4263. And just fill in the selection. Then go to select none. Now go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to blur it by 10. Now you don't have to use the same color as mine. I just used that color because it was a bluish color. And I'm going to set the opacity of this lower of this layer down a little. Now create a, a new layer. And I'm going to use several brushes. Now I will leave a link in the description to the brushes I used if I can find all the links, and I'm just going to choose a light blue color, or kind of bright blue. I'll be using um, this Axe Raider Winter Breeze, or Winter Something, brush. I'm just going to set the size down a little. And I'm just going to put one, I'm just going to brush around in the middle. And now I'm just going to use some of these, um, chaotic brushes and I'm just using a bunch of different brushes just to add some flair to this image and you might want to use different shades of blue too when you're doing this okay now once you're done with that create another new layer and get your paintbrush tool and select the sparks brush and now on this new layer, just paint anywhere, really, until you get something you like. And go to Filters, Map, Displace. And, okay, leave the default settings. Just make sure that this is your settings. And for the layer, just make sure the, um, the layer you select is the same layer and select OK. Now go to Colors, 
desaturate and set this layer mode onto dodge. Um, now just go you can go ahead and paste your render in. And now just duplicate your render and go to layer, layer to image size and go to filters, blur, motion blur and select zoom um, oops. sorry about that my phone started to ring so I had to pause the tutorial so go to filters, blur, motion blur on the pasted layer and for length I'm gonna put in 70 we can change it depending on whatever. Now just move the motion blurred layer below the render. And there you go, that's how I created my, um, pretty much how I created my signature. I just added some text and I just added a border. And you can learn how to make the, the border I made by watching my how to create a pixelated border tutorial. So I hope this was um, informative and I hope it wasn't too hard to follow because I know I rushed a little through it and I tried my best to recreate um, the effect that I used so yeah